Hello tennis fans around the world! Often we see different tennis players using particular strategies in order to win a match. We have a rough idea about what they are trying to do, but we are not sure 100%. According to Tennis Australia, there are four game styles used by players. In this video, I'm going to explain them and show you the best professionals applying them. And now we're going to go through each style. Style number one the aggressive baseliner. Game style number two, the serve and volley. Game style number three, the counter puncher. And finally, game style number 4, the old court player. Some qualities that aggressive baseliners have. Control over the point. They try to dictate play. Strong ground strokes. Go for winners. They try to go for winners early in the point. The Argentinian Juan Martín del Potro is definitely considered an aggressive baseliner since he has powerful shots and he likes to take the lead. This means that he tries to dictate play. Usually he goes for big shots and he finishes his points with winners. Another great aggressive baseliner is Marin Cilic whose strokes are powerful and he's able to blast the ball from any part of the court. Usually his rallies are not very long, since he attacks very often his opponents. Style of play number two, the serve and volley. Their qualities are attack the net, short rallies and they've got a great serve and touch. The Sherman Dustin Brown is one of the very few serve and volley players nowadays. As you can see, whether he's serving or returning, he will try to finish off the point at the net. His volleys are just amazing, and to see him play is a great pleasure. His rallies tend to be short, since he tries to shorten points and close them out at the net. The French Nicolas Mahout is another specialist on the matter. As you can see, all his points tend to be short, but his volleys, his touches, are just unbelievable. Now it's time to announce the style of play number three, the counter-puncher. Players like Andy Murray, David Ferrer, Isher Mokoria, Shul Simon are called counter-punchers. This game is based on consistent defense, since they wait for the right moment to attack. Usually they force opponents to make unforced errors, as the counter-puncher moves its opponents constantly. Fast and good court anticipation. Here we can see Angelique Kerber, who is returning, represent this style of play, as she is really consistent, moving her opponent from side to side and waiting for the right moment to counter-punch. And now we're going to introduce the king of the counter-puncher style, the former number one in the world, the Australian Leighton Hewitt. This point shows exactly what type of game he was known for. His rallies were long and consistent. He would try to peel the point, make his opponent miss the shot or go for a winner in the right moment. He used to be really fast with great anticipation and understanding of the game. This player, former number 3 in the world, Isher Mokoria has to be in this chart. In this video, playing the final in Roland Garros, Koria will demonstrate how talented he was on his style of playing tennis. Fit and consistent from baseline, low passing shots and volleys in the right moment.
passata in corsa di Coria. Non definitiva la vola in avanzamento lì. And the last lesson of the counterpuncher style, Shield Simone will give us a lesson of patience, consistency, intensity and selection of shots to then finish off the point in the right moment. To conclude with this style of games, we got the number 4, the old court player. This game is based on mix of styles, since they can alternate shots from different positions on court. Adapt their game quickly and effectively, allow them to be more aggressive or defensive according to the moment. These players have a wide range of strokes. The American Serena Williams is a tennis icon. Her tennis is really complete. In this point, you can see how she starts speeding up the ball progressively until she goes for a winner. If we talk about lesions, Novak Djokovic is one of them. The Serbian is also considered an all-court player, and here he's facing a counter-puncher as Andy Murray. The rally is long since Djokovic is trying to move Murray to generate spaces to finish off the point. See how it goes. Good luck, Andy. And finally, the king is here. Roger Federer is like a chameleon who can switch his styles on every match and still look natural. In this point, versus Tomic, you can observe how Roger works on the point to build it from baseline until he decides to attack the short ball and close out the point with an amazing smash. If you like this video, you can comment it and share it. Also, feel free to subscribe to continue to watch these cool videos about tennis. Thank you so much for watching.